My, my wife and I have come here today really to express our uh, sincere and heartfelt gratitude to the people of Wooden Bassett for their unstinting support to uh, Britain's armed forces. Now I know that only an hour or so ago you lined the high street for what I think uh, must have been the 110th occasion to pay your respects to Corporal Daniel Cooper of Three Rifles and uh, Rifleman Peter Aldridge of Four Rifles, who returned home from Afghanistan uh, to their final resting place. As, as a father myself, I, I could only begin, begin to imagine how agonizing and, and devastating it must be for the families of uh, Daniel and Peter and indeed the families of all those who have lost their loved ones on operations overseas as they come to terms uh, with the, their tragic loss. Above all, this country owes these brave men a great debt of, of gratitude, which is why it is wonderful to see uh, the good people of Wooden Bassett honoring uh, that debt time after time when our boys come home on their final journey. Now I'm quite sure that on such a desperately sad occasion, when it must seem as though uh, their world has been so cruelly shattered, the bereaved families and their friends find great comfort and solace in knowing that the nation mourns their loss with them. Your actions in this town have come to symbolize our nation's grief. So, if I may, I would just like to take this opportunity to express our profound appreciation to you all for your support. Uh, the organizers and administrators from the town council uh, the Royal British Legion and uh, RAF Lynham, the Cross Keys for providing sustenance to the families uh, during the ceremonies, the shopkeepers for your forbearance, and of course uh, the townspeople of Wooden Bassett. On behalf of um, the entire nation, thank you for being so very special.